As Armenian Americans living in the land of the free, we pride ourselves on the opportunities this country offers to its diverse cultures, making it possible to live unsuppressed and prosper indefinitely. It's a uh, profession I've been looking forward to being a part of for many years as a law student and lawyer, and I've been happy to be a Superior Court judge in Santa Clara County for 26 and a half years so far. I had the opportunity to serve uh, the public, to serve the judiciary, and I uh, hope with the honor and distinction. I see that as my role in terms of providing access to the community. I was born in Iran, I'm Armenian, and um, I realized what a, great, um, what a great opportunity I had. Here I became a judge, and I am so grateful, and it's an honor to be here. I ended up coming here on a big boat, 21 days across the ocean in 1953. Uh, my father and mother's families were here, so we ended up in Los Angeles. I had the privilege of working at the Attorney General's office. Uh, and you know, God is good. I was there when George Duke Majin happened to be the Attorney General. Felt so privileged to have that opportunity. From the day I arrived in America as a young 14-year-old with my mother and father and my young sister, it has been an incredible experience, an incredible journey that one uh, never forgets. And to realize how difficult it was for my parents who uh, thought of the opportunity to uh, come to America with their family and to uh, make a new life for themselves, start all over again, was an incredible uh, uh, experience that uh, I'm very uh, fortunate to have been part of. I've learned, as almost every Armenian alive today has learned, uh, how to persevere how to overcome hardships, uh, how to succeed, despite a you know, very trouble and calamitous background of Armenian people. It is the central role of our United States judges who maintain order, apply laws, and enforce rules of the court that constitutes the greatest nation on earth. Today, we celebrate the distinguished men and women judges that have triumphed in their careers and set new heights for the future generations. I think every uh, story of an Armenian uh, who lives in the diaspora starts with the genocide. I think all of us uh, uh, trace our roots back uh, to that period of time. And I am ever aware grateful to them and aware uh, that whatever I accomplish in my life, whatever things I overcome, pale in comparison to their life experience. You know, the, the phrase justice is, is often thrown about uh, in, in our job as judges. However, I, I think it plays a very significant part um, and has a significant meaning in, in the Armenian community. The, the Armenian community ha, has not seen justice in, in over a hundred years. The immense values of the American legal system is its ability to keep uh, a check on things so that the kind of wild brutality and, uh, and uh, hideous barbarism that our ancestors were subjected to will not go unchecked and will not proceed from a powerful country and powerful government like the government of the United States or the government of California. For many years there were no Armenian lawyers and who, who would speak up for us? So the Armenian Bar Association, Armenian lawyers have done a very good job about educating the public about who the Armenians are. But we didn't have a lot of Armenian women on the bench, especially in those years. The time of my appointment, the Armenian Bar Association was in its infancy. They supported my nomination uh, and my appointment, and I'm grateful to that. You know, since that time, the organization has grown greatly. The Armenian Bar Association plays an incredibly important role uh, in our community, especially, but also uh, in the bar in general, in the legal profession in general. Uh, it's a 30-year history now 
uh, from its founding, which was just two years before the uh, founding of the modern Armenian Republic. The Armenian Bar Association, Armenian lawyers have done a very good job about educating the public about who the Armenians are. It did get me to know very amazing lawyers. The Armenian lawyers now graduating from law school are able to secure positions with many of the prominent law firms, national law firms and international law firms uh, throughout the United uh, States. You have a responsibility to be an example. I had an opportunity. I think the Armenian Bar Association plays a very important role. Uh, like it or not, we're in an era of identity politics. You're identified a lot of times by immutable characteristics. Uh, for me, it's, and, and uh, many people in the Armenian Bar Association, it's our Armenian heritage. I believe in the DNA memory and uh, I have instinctive reactions to things uh, that uh, kind of surprise me sometime. My first trip to Armenia was in uh, June of this year. Landed in the darkness and I get off the plane and the first person I see is a uh, young woman working for the airline at the top of the jetway. I say to her in my pretty good Armenian, uh, this is my first trip here. And she looked back at me and said, we've been waiting for you, welcome home. <laughs> Such inspiring stories of hard work, preservation of culture, and drive make up the very fabric of our country, which is why we honor and pay tribute to those leaders who fight for the everyday battle to uphold the law. From the members of the Armenian Bar Association, we recognize and celebrate the accomplishments of our judges.